Joseph asked me to talk about the collaboration with the Public Communication of Science and Technology Teaching Forum. Uh, as Joseph mentioned, uh, but, um, I am here uh, using my hat of uh, SciDev.net, which is a, a website that I really love. It's about, first of all, uh, uh, information about science and technology in the developing for every, related to development, but also talking about the, the global south. And uh, in my view, it's an initiative that's really powerful because uh, in, in my part of the world, it's quite difficult to have uh, trustable information, especially in the last uh, years, the last decade. So uh, I am actually, uh, for those who doesn't uh, don't know the initiative, I strongly recommend you to, to visit us. And I take care specifically of uh, the, the, the website of Latin American. And it's quite interesting because uh, it's also, uh, it's obviously a website for providing information, trustful information about science and technology related to development, but also an opportunity for science journalists uh, in the region to work in science journalists. So in some way, it's also a kind of a training <laughs> approach because uh, very young people sometimes contact us and they want to work in science journalists and they can write stories for us and be paid uh, for writing stories. Uh, but uh, Joseph asked me to talk about uh, this uh, component of Global Scape related to, to PCSD network. Uh, so this is uh, the website for those who uh, don't know the, the network. It's a wonderful network. It's, uh, what I like of it is that it's a global network. Uh, combining both people who do research in science communication, but also practical uh, stuff in science communication. So it's very inspiring, very interesting, a lot of very interesting people. So I, I, if you are not planning yet to go to the Netherlands, I, I think you should start planning. <laughs> and uh, so uh, we realized that actually many people who are involved in teaching science communication or PCSD, public uh, science communication of science, um, public communication of science and technology. Uh, we realized that a lot of us uh, who are t teaching PCSD, we were uh, participating of the conference and other activities of the PCSD network. So we planned a workshop for talking and sharing uh, experience in, in, in PCSD teaching. So then it came the, the pandemic. And we decided to not stop because we didn't have the the face to face uh, conference by then. And then we started to do some stuff and meeting and talk about uh, teaching in PCSD. So this is uh, um, uh, a network of uh, uh, about twenty individuals 25 there are eight of us who are in the the steering team including marina Joubert, who is here with us today and uh, one of the things that we did was to set up a map of teaching around the globe uh, we thought that it was uh, very important first because some people want to to be enrolled as a student in this uh, uh, um, uh, programs, but also, uh, also uh, like me, we are teaching, we are creating our courses, our programs in our countries and based in Brazil, and uh, we want to to hear more about other experience, to to share experience uh, for uh, because we have a lot of questions and doubts, and uh, so we started this map, and that was the point that uh, we decided to combine a global scape with this uh, initiative because global scape obviously the the objective was to think uh, is to think science communication globally, and it would be very very important to, to, to join efforts to make this map possible. So with, uh, this is a map that uh, uh, you can uh, enter that in the website and put the information, uh, but uh, we decided that before putting it available, it would be uh, very useful to populate it more, including for persuaded people that it was a good idea to put the information there. So with Globalscape and uh, obviously Joseph Roche, but also Fiona Smith, who uh, did a lot of 
uh, work on this with uh, other collaborators. So uh, we start uh, looking for information around the globe about uh, these uh, programs. So it was a lot of Google, uh, a lot of uh, trying to pick the, the brain of people who uh, know uh, programs in the region. So we contacted a lot of uh, stakeholders in different countries, and that was especially important in language that we we cannot manage like Arabic and uh, and uh, um, Chinese and uh, Japanese. I heard a voice that I think that's Mohammed who is there <laughs> in the room. So uh, Mohammed was one of the person that uh, the people that we contacted asking uh, help for uh, in, in, including information from the from the Mina region. Uh, so uh, the, the, the map is there, is incomplete. Uh, if you find uh, some um, uh, some programs that are missing, please uh, put the information there or contact us. Uh, but what uh, we are doing in parallel at this moment is to do some uh, trying to go beyond the, the, the map. So we are working in two papers. Uh, one is a, a general uh, paper trying to understand, to present uh, the map of uh, PCST teaching programs around the globe. So it's very, uh, we are focusing master and doctorate in this specific paper because the for the specific paper, we are including all the levels of programs. And uh, the idea is to have a general map of uh, what is going on uh, globally. Again, it's not uh, exhaustive. I'm sure that uh, there are a lot of information missing, but we think that's quite interesting to have a, a first overview and then to go further. And the second paper is more qualitative approach. We are going to interview stakeholders. We are going to focus on master only. And uh, the idea is to, to go further and try to understand the reasonings, the 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 good things, the the challenges, etc. So I'm going to, to present very quickly some uh, numbers. So we found 131 programs uh, around the globe. Uh, it's interesting to observe that uh, most of them, an uh, important number of them, are actually masters. And then it's another important thing is that uh, there is a problem with the the words when we master and doctorate slash PhD is easy, <laughs> but uh, the other uh, names sometimes times even for the those who speak uh, who are native in English there are some discussions in UK in US and Australia the specific uh, name so it's quite easy to be lost in translation but anyway these are the the, the names that uh, we are using and you can see one um, a result that caught my attention is that I think that uh, there, there is really low number of uh, uh, doctoral programs uh, recorded. I think that there are uh, a lot of them missing. So if you if you know some, please uh, let us know. And in terms of language, uh, we see that English is the the strongest one. Uh, we have other language, uh, but uh, not that many. And if we look at the map. We see that uh, there is a concentration in some regions. So Europe is very strong, concentrate a lot of uh, programs. Uh, Latin America is a, a strong region. And one of the regions is because I know well <laughs> Latin America, and we did a, a previous study on that. So it was easier to not have invisible programs. Uh, and then also United States, for example, I think that uh, they are missing a lot of programs from United States and Canada, which is uh, also a part of the, the globe that uh, they, they do have uh, some programs in the region. But uh, if you see, obviously, uh, Africa, there is a, 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 a huge gap in this kind of uh, programs. Uh, Marina uh, is based in one in South Africa, but uh, besides that, uh, there is a, a huge gap. Uh, but uh, if you go further, you see that uh, besides the fact that there are some regions 
that don't have uh, programs in PCST teaching. Uh, also, the programs that exist, they are very concentrated in some specific countries. And so in terms of Latin America, for example, Brazil concentrates a lot of, uh, of the programs. But if you go further, you see that actually most of them are located in one single city, which is Rio de Janeiro. So what I mean is that uh, clearly we knew that before starting, but uh, we, uh, we now we have evidence that there is a huge need of creating more opportunities for training in science communication in different levels, in different parts of the world, and also in uh, many other languages. So this is uh, some of the results that I, uh, very preliminary results, but some, uh, some ideas to, to share.